This is an ambush. But these guys couldn't take out this SUV even if they wanted to. This baby's bulletproof. Alpine Armoring Inc. in Holly Springs, Mississippi is where trucks, cars and SUVs transform into armored tanks for the road. We don't make military type vehicles for offensive purposes, we're on a defensive side. So we're out there to save lives, whether in the streets of a city or in a war zone. This is the vehicle we have to be careful with. In today's security conscious world, business is booming. Unassuming armored vehicles are in high demand. When it comes to personal protection type vehicles, to maintain a low profile look is uh, essential. What that means is the vehicle has to look exactly what it uh, came in as, as it leaves. To turn an average vehicle into a tank, they first gut it. You start stripping it uh, naked to the point that it's all shells, and you have basically nothing but the skeleton of the vehicle. Once it's totally naked, they bring in the armor. You cocoon the whole vehicle to the point that the occupants are absolutely safe, regardless of what direction, what angle, and there is zero probability of impact coming to the vehicle. Glass is the first priority. It's extra thick to withstand high-powered rifle shots. Handgun bullets don't stand a chance. If we take the statistics worldwide, we see that a majority of those attacks are on the glass, on the transparent uh, portion of the vehicle. The battery gets its own special encasing. A uh, battery essentially is, is considered an explosive material because of the acid in it and all the electrical the wiring and so forth. So potentially you could have fire as a result and the same with fuel. Fuel is also an area of that you don't want to be spilled elsewhere and all of a sudden you have a fire. You want to prevent all that. Thick steel would be the perfect protection for a vehicle, but it's not practical. The problem is steel weighs a lot more, four or five times more, actually. That adds a lot of weight to an SUV or a regular passenger cars. Thereby, you have to modify the whole suspension, the brake system, uh, shock absorbance, and all that to maintain the gross vehicle weight of this vehicle to be still street legal. Fixing up the suspension is only part of the solution. Finding a lighter material with the same strength as steel is another. So today they're putting some composites to the test. This particular rifle will fire a round that will cut through a normal car like it was Swiss cheese. They're hoping these materials will withstand a heck of a lot more than that. In this case we have uh, Dyneema, which is this material right here. Essentially is a fiber out of uh, polyethylene. There is a pressing involved that the denser it becomes uh, per square inch, the more protective it is. In this case, this thing is very dense. Now, the other alternative uh, uh, material we use uh, for this uh, process is uh, uh, ceramic. Ceramic is essentially silicon carbide or barren carbide. In this case, it's backsplashed with the Kevlar to give it a better protection all around and better fit. First, he fires at the Dyneema, and then the ceramic and Kevlar composite. Let's see how we did here. OK, as you can see, there's a huge bulge here, and this thing did not penetrate. There's so many layers inside, as you can see. The bullet is stuck in there. So Dyneema withstood the attack very easily. But on the other hand, the other composite material, the silicon, in this case, uh, failed. They'll use steel and Dyneema to encase most of the vehicle, but the sealing is another matter. They'll need something even lighter. The last thing they want is a top-heavy SUV, so they'll use Kevlar. So we tend to do this by adding the lighter material to the roof and then a heavier material to the, to the floor and proportion it so that the center of gravity is exactly where we want it to be. A heavily fortified steel floor and tires offer protection against bombs. With those floor protection and using run flats play a big role. The higher the protection for the floor, the more it absorbs, like a mine attack or of some sort. Finally, the product is finished. Surely now it can stand up to a couple of measly bullets. Obviously, it's a sad statement that uh, we all have to worry about security every day more and more. But 
at the end we feel good that we save lives because ultimately that's what counts.